Yeah, Jenna's going to do it. Ready? All right, so we've gone ahead and put the German chocolate lava cake in the microwave. It goes in the microwave for five minutes, and it has to sit for five minutes. So right after it goes in the microwave, the first thing I would do is just wrap up everything that we're doing at the table. So, the, so of course, we have to melt the chocolate, and we have to put remaining coconut on, which is what I would tell everybody who's there that that's what we're going to do next. And of course we always do chocolate. A lot of people don't know how to melt chocolate in the microwave. So I'll ask them, does anybody know how to melt chocolate in the microwave without burning it? And sometimes people do and most of the time people don't. And I just say, well you have to melt it slowly in about 20 second intervals by stirring it. And then you can easily, which you can see here, melt the chocolate in the microwave. And if anybody does answer the question correctly, I always carry around a whole bunch of these little recipe cards because um, I usually ask a bunch of little questions throughout my whole show that are related to cooking, um, like melting chocolate. And if they answer the question correctly, I'll go ahead and give them a recipe card. It's just a little something extra. And the recipe cards are super inexpensive and you get a whole bunch of them when you buy them. So you, it's a really good way um, to give a little something and educate your um, your guests as well. And then so right after I wrap everything up, I would typically then take them over into a living room area where they would get the catalogs and we would then, the first thing I did at my last show after fall launch was play the cell phone game because it's a very fast game. And um, I actually bought the bulk rubs, which we had, there's about four or five rubs that we can buy now in bulk. Um, through our, our samples packages and our supplies packages and I divided them up into two tablespoon increments and attached a recipe to them. So it's a really nice gift that in the long run didn't cost a whole lot of money that um, someone is really appreciative to have. And so what you do is you say, okay everybody just take out your cell phone and the way this game is going to work is first I want you to add a new contact and then in the first name put Pampered Chef and then the last name put Jenna and then I'm going to give you my phone number and the first person who calls me is going to win this rub with this recipe and then so everybody's got their cell phone out and they're all ready and you give them your phone number and then someone calls you and they win. Um, I also will tell them before I give them my phone number um, I will say this way I'm in your phone in case you have any customer service issues down the line if you lose your receipt or if you don't know what to make for dinner that night you can send me a text message and just ask me what I'm going to be making for dinner and I can send you a whole bunch of recipes and um, that will just really help me help you in the future because most people don't remember who their consultant is um, so that works really well and then everybody who came to the party uh, you are now in their phone and you are the Pampered Chef Consultant that is now in their phones which um, which will help a lot with repeat customer um, purchasing and, and um, then of course after that I like to play Stealing Hearts which is really great for recruiting you can send lots and lots of different recruiting messages and get lots of information out there worked really well at my last show um, and you can look up how to play Stealing Hearts online because um, the explanation is a little bit long. Uh, we do have it on our website, and I think Pampered Chef now has it on their website. But um, I was able to get a really good recruit lead from someone else who was a stay-at-home mom who was looking for something else they could do to earn money and to get out of the house as well. Um, so I really do like that game as well. And then I'll also do the booking and recruiting slide after that because the other two aren't so much about the bookings and I just want to make sure everybody knows all of the great benefits that they can have by hosting their own show too and of course getting all their friends together and having a good time and all of the amazing products that they can get for half off and um, or free so um, that would be how I would do the presentation for the German chocolate lava cake.